Hey, what's up, YouTube fam? It's your boy Camo coming back with another reaction video for you today. We got Tom Segura's dad hates pickup lines. This is a YMH, uh, your mom's house uh, podcast clip. And um, I want to thank you for suggesting it. And guys, if you can please subscribe, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. So if you've already done so, thank you. And I probably already thanked you in the comment section. But if you haven't yet, please do so. And then put in the comments, I subscribe so I can uh, reach out and thank you for that. And always as as for them, baby, it's early. As always, if you have any other, er, blah, blah, let's try this again. As always, if you have other videos you would like to suggest, please put them in the comment section down below. Thank you. Let's get going before I mess up more words. Girls wear these Lululemon yoga pants and it makes their vaginas look very meaty. And I was like, well, you probably would want to look anyways. This, this way I give you permission to get a good gander at her meaty puss. Mm -hmm. It's funny that she's talking about this because in another video I already reacted to, she's talking, she brings up Lululemons again, but this time it's a, it kind of transitions to uh, talking about guys wearing biker shorts, like bicycle shorts. And, but that's literally how the conversation starts. So she's, she's got an obsession with these Lululemon pants. And, you know, I don't, you don't get in trouble for looking. You don't have to pretend like you're not. Right. Yeah, I like it. And then we decided we could take it to another level <laughs> just to give me, like, you know, I'm, I'm in a monogamous relationship, but just to give, like, a little flavor, you know, yeah. a little, like, yeah. like a little spark yeah. of fun where it's, like, it's kind of flirting, but it's harmless. And so what I do is I see one of these girls, right, and I see them while I'm eating, so I'll, I'll eat, and then I'll be like, hey, uh, you know, I'm trying to eat this breakfast. My dick's all hard from looking at you over here. <laughs> <laughs> and I just see how they react. So I'm curious for uh, both men and women out there. Men, um, put in the comment section, hell yeah, if you would do something like this or if you could see yourself saying something like this. Women, put hell yeah if you feel like you'd actually like to hear that. That would actually be kind of nice. Obviously, if you don't, you don't need to act, you know, and it's like a, it's something it's you can do, fun. too. You can do it at, and it's... you can do it and it gets women appreciate it is from what I've seen. <laughs> and um, it's also it's probably will get you laid. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I, I'm actually I, he's obviously, you know, the thing about comedians, most comedians, I should say, not all comedians. There's obviously definitely one. Is. You teeter the line between truth and then like playfulness or sarcasm, but a lot of the foundation of a good joke is truth. I feel like there's some truth in what he's saying. I feel like there, and again, if women are watching, most of my channel is men, but I know there is some women that actually have a female subscriber, at least one that I know of. So thank you for subscribing. Uh, but what I was gonna say is, is like you would think that, like hell no, like a woman. I I'm willing to bet that there are women that will react respond to that not necessarily because of like oh that just turned me on but it would be like wow he has the balls to say it and it's also like oh he's playful like he's got a good sense of humor clearly like there's a lot of different ways a woman could look at that and actually respond well to it versus being like oh my god like why would you say that to me blah, blah, blah. some some people are too sensitive now actually a lot of people are too sensitive now and you don't have to say it like you don't have to do what I did you could be like you could be, uh, you can go, uh, you know, I was about to take this last bite, but your tits are so big, I decided to, to wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. Well, it's nice. Ladies like like to hear when they look good, and I would take there it as a compliment. There you go. You could, you could go like, hey, um, you know, I was wondering what your pussy looks like, but now I can see it <laughs> with those pants on. <laughs> So I don't have to wonder no more. Thank you. No Appreciate more. It. Yeah. yeah. And they'll be like, oh, my God. Like, it's, how, it's a good way to, like, start a conversation with someone. Yeah. And I think you know where it was. If you agree with Tom, put I agree in the comment section. I'm, I'm curious how many of you agree with Tom on this one. Now, many people are like, fuck, no. What really work is, like, Hooters. Oh, and, yeah. Because they're kind of inviting you to look. Go to Hooters and be like, you know, I was going to get the <laughs> wings. But I'm over here and my dick's all stiff. <laughs> 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 sure they hear that all the time there so, <laughs> <you know. laughs> 
<laughs> well, we just thought, wouldn't that be the coolest way to talk to ladies? Dude, it is it's the coolest the way coolest to talk to way. ladies. Like, There's you would, no question. You would score so many bitches. You're just waiting to, if you're not doing that, you're just not getting laid. Yeah. Because you, you're going to play the numbers. Somebody's going to be like, wow, thanks. Yeah, they're going to be. Uh, okay. Again, I got to agree with uh, Christina on this one. The numbers is a big, like, I, in, in, and trust me, back when I was in high school, I would hear this and I would be like, I don't care because if I just get rejected once, that would devastate me. I was really like, you know, but it, it's a numbers game. And, you know, you and and this is something that I don't think a lot of people talk about. Actually, I think I've heard Gary Owen talk about this. If you guys know who Gary Owen is uh, and you like his stuff, let me know, because I don't think I've any got got any suggestions for him yet now that I'm thinking about it. So if you'd like to see a Gary Owen video reaction, uh, put in the comment section which uh, which clip of his you'd like me to react to. But I think he's the only one I've heard talk about this where it's like playing the numbers, yeah. But the more you play the numbers, not only do you obviously score more because you're taking more shots, but you're getting to find a uh, you start to gather data of like, okay, it seems to be these type of women always say yes to me. And these ones usually don't. So then you just start kind of like narrowing your search and you only go for the ones that you kind of already know usually dig you. And then you're like, your numbers go up and up and up. I mean, it's, I mean, it's not from personal experience. This is just from what I've gathered out in the world. Data, Google, all that stuff. Not, not personal. Be like, no, nah, are you really hard? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Let me and see. And then you can go like, why don't you reach down there and find out? There you go. Touch. Why don't you reach yeah. down there with your mouth? Yeah. Okay. Because I was thinking, what would be the coolest thing you could say to somebody? <laughs> the like, coolest thing? Yeah. There's like, a bunch of cool things we just covered. <laughs> yeah. Like if I was your waitress, yeah, and you'd be like, oh, you're, I'm trying to, I'm trying to drink this dream. Your tits are spilling into them. Yeah, oh, yeah. That, you know, <laughs> and I'd like be that, like, yeah. that's neat. Yeah. Thanks, sir. When, and when she goes, uh, can I get you anything else? You could be like, mm. uh, yeah, you could sit all the way down on my cock because it's Jesus. super hard <laughs> wow. from staring at you. Yeah. That's a lot. <laughs> and then she'll be like, That's oh, my little, God, little really? Little my. I, didn't know, I didn't know you were going to offer. And then you're like, yeah. Thank you. It's Listen, if if you feel like you're getting late enough, then don't try it. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Oh, uh, I love Tom. Yeah. I love Tom. Yeah, meaty puss. Yeah, yeah. It's just true though, because as a as an older couple, like we are now, you know, people people look so much better. Just a quick, quick story. Um, I've seen Tom Segura perform live. He performed at the uh I, I live in Southern California and he performed at the Ice House in Pasadena. This was pre COVID. And um, you know, the way most comedy clubs are, the 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 structure is usually you have an MC, the opening act, and then you have like a feature and then the the headliner. So his feature was up uh, performing and I had to go to the restroom. And so when I leave to go to the restroom, the way the, uh, the ice house is set up, it's, it's a pretty small club. It's a historic club. It's pretty small though. So I'm walking to the bathroom and it passes right by the green room and he's pacing, he's pacing the, the hallways and you could tell he's like going over his set. He's in his head. And so as a look, as a fan, as a big fan of his, I wanted to be like, oh, my God, like, you're awesome. Can I get a picture with you? Uh, can I get your autograph? Whatever, right? But the uh, the comedian in me has been like, dude, he isn't. He's going over his shit. Like, don't fuck with him right now. And so I literally, I passed him. He, he looked at me. We made eye contact, and I gave him a nod. And I was like, what's up, man? He's like, what's up? And that was it. And it's just like, went my way. And then I'm like, of course, when I sat down, I was like, tell my wife, I'm like, He's out there. I just saw him. I just saw him. But, uh, you know, you got to you got to respect, the, you know, the, the performing artist. Or I guess you got to you got to respect anybody's process. And, and I knew. I know how it is. So and I could just tell by his face he was it's not that he's not a friendly person. You could just tell he was like, I'm getting ready. I'm getting I'm going over my sh like you could just tell. So I was just like, not going to not going to try and interrupt that process better than us yes. that I think it's important it to hilarious. acknowledge when you see like yeah better looking people you're like and oh my god you that, should tell them yeah that's you a really good like, idea take, when, take when action you go hey can I tell you something <laughs> <laughs> my, my pussy's all sloppy looking let at me, you let me tell you something I'm uh I know I'm a little older than you 
but I was thinking that I don't think you'll fuck me, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Will you? Like that? I'm not I sure. Just, yeah. no, my sure. wife and I are trying to, we're having a debate we over We were here. debating about, <laughs> she doesn't think you'll fuck me, but I said that you would. W will you? Like that. <laughs> and get into an entanglement? Get, yeah. You wanna, <laughs> I'd like you... to get my jizz entangled in your <laughs> pube hairs. And then just see how uh. it goes. All right, just, just things you can try. Or you can just not say anything to anybody. Do you think Top Dog would be stupid? What do you think Top Dog would think about? That's how I was in high school. Your what do you mean? Getting chicks stupid. method. I don't know. He's got a way with the ladies too. You want to ask him? Always. All right, I'll ask him. They're gonna call his dad right now. Oh, and then what? We can get him on that one. Oh yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Let me bet your mom's watching or doing bridge. Is it bridge time? Might be too early for bridge. I don't know. Hello? Hey, Dad. Hey, buddy. How you doing? <laughs> good. How's always, it going, man? He always starts with, hey, buddy. All good. Just hey. enjoying another day in COVID-19 heaven here. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> well, let me guess. What's mom doing? Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, um, so I was wondering, we were trying to give advice to these younger guys, you know, about like mm -hmm. talking to women. And so one of the things I told them is like, if you're like at an outdoor patio place, <laughs> you're eating, you see a girl across the place. Like, why not try something like, hey, um, you know, I'm trying to eat my lunch here, but my dick's all hard from looking at you. <laughs> you know, I, I'm not sure that would be the great opening line I would use. Uh, first of all, she could probably see it from across the street anyway. Okay. Yeah. But I, I would I would try something smoother. Oh, what, what would you try? I would say, I'd say, are those straps strong enough to keep your boobs up? Okay. <laughs> that might that, that is might work. That yeah. is way worse. I feel I like, like it. Does the, or does the underwire in your bra set off the metal detectors in the airport? Okay. Well, that's a mouthful. Clearly, his dad is into, into breasts. Well, you know, Clearly he's, he's a definitely a mouthful right button. there. Okay. <laughs> 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 Woo. Uh, yeah. Well, those are some of the. <laughs> and then, what, what guys. What guys. Say to themselves when they sit back down that they look at another guy. They look at that. They go, "You gotta be shitting me." Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what they say. What do you think, women? If women knew what we really said about them, yeah. How do you think that play? I mean, I I think some of them know, um, but I think some of them would be horrified and and they would either accept it or they would just yeah they would just live in horror and fear. I think it. I think they'd be horrified if they knew. If they knew, we wanted to really hit him in the head with a hammer, off. tie him up, put him in the trunk, bury him in the desert. Yeah, they would be really affected. Yeah, yeah I mean, <laughs> oh my God, you know. And and then when you're on the elevator and this drop dead gorgeous woman gets on, you know, yeah. she's got legs up to her, you know, her <laughs> shoulders, and everybody pretends like they don't even notice. Okay? Yeah, I know. I know. Hey, you know, by the way, being I want to get you some up dog. Some what, buddy? Some up dog. What's up dog? <laughs> Not much. What's up with you, dog? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Want to get you some up dog? That's like a fourth grade joke. <laughs> Hundred percent. I'm so glad he said it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. Uh. All right. Look. Oh, by the way. Well, I guess I guess I can't really ask you that because you live with. What's me. that, buddy? Oh, we were playing this. We were going to talk about this um, <sighs> scenario about whether we would rather spend a week with mom or a week with my aunt Blanca. Like, if you had to be, like, holed up with one, and then, which, you know, like, I guess... Oh, that's an easy one for me. Mom, oh, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> A week with Aunt Blanca? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. 
<laughs> well, we were saying that it's, it's do you, we were talking before that it's either do you want to kill yourself or someone else? <laughs> week. A whole week? A whole week, yeah. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Well, we should break that down now. All right, I love you. I'll call you later, okay? Okay, I love you. All right, bye. Okay, I love you, bye. bye. Wow, I, I can't believe he critiqued the updog joke as being fourth or fifth grade humor. That, that was such a relief that he got to do that. That was the best moment. Yeah. That was so much fun. Yeah. Um, so here's the scenario we were talking yeah. about. So my mom. Yes. My mom does, um, if we had to spend a week with her, what my mom likes to do is she likes to provoke. Mm -hmm. Right? She likes to start, she's a professional Shit mixer. Yeah, that's that's so so. The, I, Can I ask you something? Why do you do that? Yeah. Why? I'll she wants to infuriate that. you. Yeah, she likes to poke until you're like, Arr! and then what I realized it took me like 38 years to realize if you just go like, oh, I'll ignore that person like I would ignore somebody like walking down the street yelling things. Right, like a homeless person. Yeah, yeah. If I ignore her, then she's like, oh, she's deflated. Yeah, yeah. She has no like, ammunition. She's like, you didn't take the bait. Yeah. But a week with her, she would get you. She would get you in a week, but here's what you do. Here's what I do with your mom when they visit yeah. is I physically disengage. When I sense that she's looking for the fight, yeah. I physically go to another room and then some other sucker walks in and yeah. takes her bait. Yep. So as long as I just keep moving around, there's always another sucker willing to listen. That's true. But if it's just but in you. But this, if this scenario is just you. Alcohol. So then, I would just get her drunk. Yeah, drunk helps. Drunk is good. I'd feed her wine for breakfast yeah, if I had to too. do a week with her. And candy. But my aunt, what she can oh. do is just break you <laughs> fucking down in this slow, deliberate show. Like, remember I told you about like when I was, we were going to move and she was like, where are you moving? How far away? Does it have furniture yet? What will you do with the furniture here? Do you cut the grass oh yourself? God. Will you find someone like, else to do it? I'm already like, well, how will you? But when you live in the place, who will move it? Will you move some? Will have people come help you? And it's like the questions and the questions and the questions. It's, and then, it's death by a thousand paper yeah. cuts. And you yeah. start to go like, I don't know, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, I don't know anything. And that's like in five minutes. You know? <laughs> One time, I made the mistake. I was very hungry and I baked spaghetti squash for myself mm -hmm. and you cut it in half and then you take a fork and you rake the squash. Right. Now, she had never seen it before and it was blowing her fucking mind apart. Yeah. How, how do you do this? Yeah. How show me what is this vegetable? How do you do this? She has, and I was like, I, I'm going to kill myself. She has like opinions on, every, you know what I mean? Like on uh. everything. So then like. You're making eggs, and she's like, "Are you using olive oil?" And you're like, "Yeah." And she's like, "Do you know that there is a study that says if you cook yeah. with olive oil, that I am already like I I uh, I know people like this, and uh, now that I'm getting context, because I don't know how she is. Now that I'm getting context, I'm like, yeah, I think I'd have to be with the mom. I think I have to be with someone that's that they're provoking you versus uh yeah uh i'm i'm like just listening i'm getting it's not good for and you're like i don't i'm just using it i don't care if i die like <laughs> and then like and then like you put some is that <sighs> salt yeah do you know that the sodium <laughs> that you can oh fuck if you off don't, already. you have more than 180 milligrams of sodium and you're like i don't care i don't care i don't mind it are you putting ice in the did you know that if you put too much ice in there, that can change your metabolism? Stop, I'm already care. annoyed. So, yeah, so our scenario basically was if oh we went with either, God. and then we decided that it just means do you want to kill yourself or someone else? <laughs> You know? Because Blanca will drive you to suicide. To suicide. Yeah. Because you're like, there's no way out. Everything's closing in on me. The walls are coming down. Yeah. There's no and way out of this. And my mom would drive you to homicide. Because you'd kill her. Yeah. Yeah. So how it's like, your, what are you more comfortable with? How do your uncle and your dad stay married to these? They're guys? just checked out. <laughs> They're checked out in different ways. You know? Oh. Like the stuff that, the stuff that makes. Myself and my two sisters want to kill my. I go like <laughs> and scream at my mom. My dad's just like, <laughs> and you're like, how are you like that? Because he's not paying attention. Yeah, he's not listening. He's not letting it get to him. 
I, and I think it's like natural. You're just like, how are you not a one time? I'm, I he is 100 percent right, because there's situations where uh, my, my parents don't live around here anymore. I would go visit them or even when I was younger, like. If if I'm engaging in any kind of kind of conversation with my mom and my dad's in the room and then I ask my dad a question about something she just said or or if he agrees with the opinion I just gave, he could be two feet from us. And he is like, what? What were you guys talking about? I don't even know what I wasn't listening. Zoned out. And I but he only I would notice he would only do that if it was a conversation where my mom was involved. Because if that was a conversation with me and my sister or anybody else in the house, like he's he's checked in and he'll he'll throw in his comments or whatever or his questions as the conversation's going. But if it was my mom, checked out. I was with him and I go, Have you never beaten mom? <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, What's that? And I was like, How have you never like just fucking put her through a window? <laughs> and he's just like well, you know, buddy, you got it. <laughs> like, yeah, like his own. And I'm like, I don't understand. We all want to fucking kill her. How do you not want to kill her? And he's like, yeah, but, you know. Well, interestingly enough, I saw Brittany Furlon posting a TikTok today of her and Tommy Lee. And it was, she goes, in order for a marriage to work, one of you has to be crazy and one of you has to be boring. Boring and crazy go well together. That's interesting. And I think that's what we have with your... If you're watching and you're in a relationship, put what you think you are. Do you think you're crazy or do you think you're boring? Let me know. I, to be fair, I'll say it. I, <sighs> I must be the boring one. And, and I guess it really, I guess it kind of depends on what we're talking about because when it comes to emotions and roller coaster type stuff, I kind of look at that as crazy, which is, but if we're talking about crazy and boring being just obviously like, don't do that, like it's boring. But if we're talking about like actions and stuff, I would, I guess I'd be considered the crazy one because I do, I, I done, I do stand up. I don't know if I'll ever do stand up again, but I did stand up comedy for a long time for over 10 years. That's to a lot of people. That's crazy. And my wife is always like, I would never be able to do that. And she's a nurse. But to me, a nurse is, I, yes, I guess, uh, I guess I'll have to say I'm boring. I'm boring. If you watch this far, which one are you if you're in a relationship? Or if you're not in a relationship, which one do you think you'll be in the relationship? Your uncle and Top Dog. Boring, I'm saying. Yeah. Like the chill. They're the chill ones. And yeah. the women are just out of their fucking minds. Out of their minds. Maybe out they're of their minds. maybe they're entertained by yeah no that's another element of it it's like yeah you know sure it's like they're with these people who they're like yeah there's something about them something about them intrigues them excites them you know it's so true because you always see good guys with like controlling bitches or l psycho bitches psychos hundred yeah. percent so weird Get which one going, am I man. I'm crazy I'm 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 different. But I don't hurt you and stuff. I was right? going to say, no. I think she's the no. crazy one. Oh, you just watched a highlight from your mom's house. And if you want to see more, just watch one of these videos or highlights here. And definitely subscribe here. Yeah, I was, I was literally going to say that. I was like, she seems like the crazy one and he seems like the boring one. Even though he watches crazy clips and he his, his stand-up, like, well, he'll say crazy things just in general. They're dynamic together. I was going to say, I think he's the boring one and she's the crazy. So I'm glad that she at least thinks that and admits that too. So um, that's it for this one, guys. If you could please like this video, I do appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so. Put in the comment section, I subscribed. And if you have any other videos you'd like me to react to, go ahead and post those in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to check them out. Till next time.